Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Rob, and today's video is going to be relatively short because I'm just going to give you two tips on how you can make Windows 11 look and feel a little bit more like Windows 10. So we're going to start with uh, the right-click context menu, and then we're going to move on to the positioning of the start button on the taskbar. You'll see that when I right click on the screen, we have this redesigned context menu that Microsoft thought would be a good idea because they thought that they would take everything that um, they assumed would be the most important stuff and put it right there at the forefront. Now, uh, you might be a little bit different, but for me, I spend most of my time taking the extra step to click on the show more options. And it's just cumbersome after a while. And not only that, I'm just more comfortable with the Windows 10 context menu because that's what I'm used to. But changing this back is fairly simple. It does involve modifying the Windows registry, but it's not that big of a deal because I have included, um, well, I will be including, I haven't released this video yet. So when I do in the description of this video, I'll have the stuff that you can copy and paste and you can stick it in there and make it work. Let's pop open this text document here, which has the registry key that we need to make this work. And all we're going to do is select this. And now I'll also include the registry files or the, the uh, link to the registry files in this description as well. So if just double clicking something to import it into the registry is easier for you, you will also have that option. So we have that copied. Let's open up, whoops, let's open up command prompt. Paste this in here and the operation completed successfully. Now we will have to reboot because nothing will change until we do. Actually, you know what? We might just be able to, since this is under the H key current user key, we might be able to just sign out and sign back in. Let's try it. Boom, and there you go. So you don't even have to reboot the computer. You just copy and paste that into the command prompt, it adds that registry key, and you have your right-click context menu back the way it was before you ever upgraded to Windows 11. Now, last but not least, how do we get this uh, start button back over to the left where it belongs? Because I'll tell ya, it's just the muscle memory it's really, uh, uh, Microsoft threw me with this one. I understand what they're trying to do, just like with the pretty curved edges and everything. If we open up a window, wait, why is that not? Did they change that? I thought Windows 11 flaunted curved, uh, curved edges on the, uh, windows. That's weird. On the computer that I'm using this on, the edges are curved, but in this virtual machine that I'm showing this to you on, it is not. Anyways, it's supposed to have curved edges, everything's supposed to look pretty, they wanted to center everything in the middle. We all know why that is, it's because they want their stuff to look more like apples. I notice companies do that, they copy off each other. One company starts one thing, before you know it, everybody else is doing the same thing. Anyways, let's not get distracted. Let me show you how to move the start button back over to the left hand side of the screen where it's supposed to be. So first thing we wanna do is right click on the taskbar, click taskbar settings, and then click on taskbar behaviors. Right here we have taskbar alignment and we will select left, boom. There we go, these are two ways that you can make Windows 11 look and feel a little bit more like Windows 10. We have our start button back where it's supposed to be, and we have our context menus the way they used to be as well. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this was helpful. Um, if you could, please leave a like on the video and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I greatly appreciate it, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.